Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today, I have an exciting episode lined up for you. I will dive deep into some fascinating topics that are sure to capture your interest. Whether you're here for the latest news updates, insightful discussions, or just some entertaining content, I've got you covered. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with all my future videos. Let's get started and see what I have in store for you today. Barefoot Royals Exposing the Double Standards the recent barefoot escapades of Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, have once again highlighted the glaring double standards that plague the British royal family and the UK media. While the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, was subjected to intense scrutiny and criticism for a similar act during a visit to Sydney's Bondi Beach in 2018, Camilla's barefoot stroll in Australia was largely ignored and even seen as a simple act of comfort. This stark contrast in the way these two events were handled is a clear indication of the double standards at play. Meghan's choice to go barefoot was painted as a scandalous act and a clear disregard for the traditions and expectations of the royal family. Yet when Camilla did the exact same thing, the media and the royal family were remarkably silent, not even issuing a peep of criticism. This double standard extends beyond the specific issue of going barefoot. Meghan has been subjected to intense scrutiny and criticism for everything from her choice of clothing to her parenting style, while other members of the royal family such as Kate and Camilla have been largely excused or even praised for similar actions. The list of examples goes on, revealing a troubling pattern of bias and unfair treatment. The royal family and the UK media need to acknowledge and address these double standards. It's time to treat everyone within the royal fold with the same level of fairness and respect regardless of their background or status. Only then can we truly move towards a more equitable and inclusive representation of the monarchy. The Duchess of Sussex and the Bondi Beach Controversy The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, faced criticism in the media when she and Prince Harry opted to go barefoot during a visit to Bondi Beach in Sydney, Australia. Headlines accused the royal couple of breaking royal protocol by abandoning their shoes with the UK media quick to paint this as a scandalous act. The Duchess was expected, as a member of the royal family, to adhere to the traditional protocol of wearing tights in public. However, this harsh treatment stands in stark contrast to the reaction when the Duchess of Cornwall, Camilla, was recently seen going barefoot during her own tour of Australia. Camilla's decision to ditch her heels was met with little fanfare, seen merely as a sensible and comfortable choice given the circumstances. There were no accusations of protocol breaches or relentless media criticism, as had been directed at Meghan. This clear double standard in the way the two duchesses were treated highlights the unfair scrutiny and unequal standards that Meghan has faced as a member of the royal family, particularly from the UK tabloid media. Camilla's Barefoot Stroll in Australia In a stark contrast to the treatment of Duchess Meghan, Camilla's recent decision to ditch her heels and walk barefoot during her tour in Australia was met with little to no media outrage or criticism. While Meghan faced intense scrutiny and accusations of protocol breaches for a similar move during her visit to Bondi Beach, Camilla's barefoot escapade was brushed aside as a simple, sensible decision. This stark difference in the reactions highlights the glaring double standards that exist within the royal family and the British media where some members are held to a much higher and more unforgiving standard than others. Exposure of Double Standards Within the Royal Family The glaring double standards within the royal family and UK media are glaringly obvious when examining the treatment of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, compared to other royal women. While Meghan was heavily criticized for every move, from cradling her baby bump to choosing a private birth, other royals like Kate and Camilla, have been able to make similar choices without facing the same intense scrutiny and backlash. A prime example is the media frenzy that surrounded Meghan and Prince Harry going barefoot on Bondi Beach in 2018, with headlines declaring they had broken royal protocol. Yet when Camilla recently went barefoot during a tour in Australia, there was nary a peep from the same UK tabloids. The clear bias in how these incidents were covered reveals the double standards at play. What was deemed a scandalous act for Meghan was brushed off as a sensible decision for Camilla. This disparate treatment extends beyond just fashion choices. Meghan has been relentlessly criticized for everything from her parenting style to her perceived disrespect of the Queen, whereas similar actions by Kate have been excused or even praised. The UK media's coverage of the Duchess of Sussex has been marred by negativity and bias, 
quick to accuse her of breaching protocol or causing rifts in the family while giving a free pass to other royals. It's high time these double standards within the royal family and British media were addressed and rectified. All members of the monarchy deserve to be treated equally, regardless of their background or status. Meghan Markle should not be held to a different, more scrutinizing standard than her counterparts. It's time to demand fair and unbiased coverage for the Duchess of Sussex and put an end to these glaring double standards. The Queen's Barefoot Moment, Revealing the Disparities While Camilla's barefoot stroll during her Australian tour went largely unnoticed by the media, the Queen's own barefoot incident was quietly brushed under the rug. This stark contrast in the treatment of the two royals lays bare the different standards applied to members of the British royal family. Headlines decried it as a breach of royal protocol. There were no accusations of improper behavior, no scandalous headlines. Camilla's decision was simply seen as a practical, comfortable choice given the circumstances. This clear disparity in the way the media and the royal family have responded to these similar acts highlights the double standards at play. Meghan Markle was subjected to intense scrutiny and criticism for her every move, while Camilla, a long-standing member of the royal circle, was afforded the luxury of a more understanding and forgiving response. The Queen's own barefoot incident, which could have drawn similar condemnation, was instead brushed aside as a non-event, further underscoring the unequal treatment within the monarchy. The Royal Double Standard, Meghan vs. Kate the disparate treatment of Duchess Meghan and Kate by the royal family and the UK media is a glaring example of double standards. While both women have engaged in similar behaviors, such as going barefoot in public, Meghan was heavily criticized and ridiculed, whereas Kate's actions were brushed off or even praised. This unfair dynamic extends beyond just fashion choices. The contrast is palpable, revealing a clear bias against the Duchess of Sussex. Moreover, the UK media's coverage of Meghan has been overwhelmingly negative accusing her of everything from breaking royal protocols. The British media often turns a blind eye or even justifies their actions. This double standard is glaringly obvious and must be addressed if the royal family and the UK media are to be treated with any semblance of fairness and equality. The world is watching, and it's high time these institutions uphold their own values of equality and justice. It's time to stand strong with Meghan against the unfair attacks and to demand true accountability for these blatant double standards. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for more amazing videos. Until next time, take care and stay safe. I love you all. Goodbye.